Rescue Tango, Oscar Bravo. Welcome to Outside the Bunker. So today I've had some requests. Uh, I did a little preview before when I was in Kalgoorlie. I went off to, um, and I took my brew kit with me and it took some coffee. And there's a few people asked me what type of coffee I took and uh, to be a bit less anal about it and to uh, go into a bit more about the coffee because let's face it, coffee is yum. Now, as I said before, there's several things I think that you shouldn't import. Wine, well, I'm lucky, we live in Perth in Western Australia and right in the middle of places where we get fresh wine, fresh olive oil and fresh coffee. And to me, they are the things that you should not import unless you really, really have to. Red wine, well, France does, does wine, that's fine. Um, so does the rest of Australia really, but um, here in Australia, Swan Valley, we've got Swan Valley, uh, we've got Margaret River, yeah, yum. Olive oil, the same. I used to grow up thinking olive oil was just something you cooked with and not ate, but that's not true. I've now become an olive oil snob, as I have done a coffee snob. Just a bit of history, so back in the day, when I grew up in UK, uh, the piece de resistance of coffee was a Nescafe blend that someone hadn't dipped their spoon in and you could actually separate the granules. That in fact, I now know is just like dirty dishwater that tastes of coffee. It wasn't until I went to the Middle East um, that I actually found the true meaning of coffee and it enlightened me. I'm now an enlightened coffee one and now I'm a bit of a coffee snob so I like my coffee and that's why I'm so glad that I live near to these guys Carvan leaf bean machine so if you're in Perth in fact they do mail order as well look them up on the website um, if Mark does his job properly it'll be below somewhere but anyway they do a fantastic type of coffee and they've got two different types of coffee here that um, I bought and I'm going to try now <clears throat> one was really really cool because it was in the coffee blend um, a Christmas blend they did like a Christmas blend of coffee and there was just something about it that was just so fantastically it was like sweet look I'm not a coffee snob by any means and what I've done I'll um, I'll actually include the tasting notes because they do this far more professionally than I do and those people are actually into the kind of really nitty-gritty stuff of coffee can find out it smells of new grown hay cut with silage and blackberries and strawberries I just like coffee and I like the flavor and I'm not really into kind of describing it into those kind of poncy type of stuff but if you like that I shall include some tasting notes that they uh, that uh, the guys Fleur and the team at Leaf Bean, uh, Leaf Bean Machine actually include so if you buy a coffee from the shop um, or you send off for some they'll include the tasting notes these are my tasting notes not quite the same but there we go it's Jerry's tasting notes so anyway getting back to the Christmas blend Christmas blend had just something like there was just something in it that was just like really really cool and it made it really really so nice um, I went in there and I found out is um, Colombian not that one this one this Colombian coffee bean I won't try and pronounce it but you can see the label gold label it shows it's good the smell is just amazing it's just absolutely amazing this is my second packet I haven't opened this one yet because I'm still drinking the, the first packet it is absolutely amazing they say in the taste of nose it's rare and coveted that's only because on the day these beans were picked they were processed on the same day but during the fermentation process they actually added tartaric acid and cinnamon so it actually fermented is a slight acidic flavor let's face it coffee is meant to be bitter anyway good coffee is it's fermented with cinnamon and, and, and this tartaric acid which is like a food acid and the smell is just amazing and the taste is just to die for so this is um, Columbia Jarro Oh, I just can't pronounce it. But what, what I do know, it's 100% pink bourbon. Now that's gonna sell it for me anyway. So 100%, I've never had 100% pink bourbon in coffee. I've had coffee after bourbon, the day after, but not actually with it. Anyway, this is described as 100% pink bourbon. So 
it's fairly amazing if you can get your hands on this contact floor um, I think it was a limited release but they are always doing these kind of limited release things anyway the second one was um, this one now I had this about two weeks ago this is my second packet of this this is Ethiopian Shawani ground one so the thing I love about leaf bean machine is like they don't go to these massive growers they go to little small boutique growers that are doing things the right way not over harvesting not over processing so this Ethiopian coffee ground one it's basically a couple of brothers um, Asef and um, Mulaga founded Daya beans so it's a small plantation coffee mix now that leaf bean machine are all, always doing these it's it is so nice. This, you know, this is like your more traditional blend of coffee. I make mine in either an AeroPress, as you saw before, or a Mocha Master. I get all the stuff um, from the shop at um, Fleur and the guys do all the accessories as well. So this amazing coffee, the beans are just, look, as I said before, why would you possibly, possibly buy beans that have been roasted in another state, let alone another country, that's then traveled for, well, weeks in this case, getting to Perth, or months if you buy them internationally. So these beans are just sitting there, just going, just drying up really. I know they're going to be vac packed and stuff, but coffee is about the oils and it's about the flavour. It's about the intense flavour experience really. You'll get them when you buy fresh coffee. Now I know there's lots of there's lots of coffee roasters. In, in WA, we're kind of lucky like that. And uh, But buy local guys, buy local. I mean, if this whole COVID thing hasn't shown us the fragility of the supply chain, just buy local. Support your local industries and just do it the right way. So this is a really, really short, just review. This is just about two types of coffee that I've just bought. Um, and I thought I'd share with you mainly because people have asked me um, about uh, doing more in depth about the brew kit I've done uh, I'll do some more reviews later on about other bits and pieces maybe medic bits and pieces but for now this is just coffee um, look, if you live in Perth you can buy this just from the shop if you live in Australia or uh, in WA they, they ship it's it's uh, ground um, oh sorry it's roasted um, actually at Bibber Lake so it's freshly roasted if you like these guys, look down at uh, Fleur and the guys and uh, Leaf Bean Machine. If you like our show, I mean, just like down below. Mark's going to do his job again. I'm going to make him do some work on the graphic department. So uh, like and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming up with lots and lots of bits and pieces. You'll actually get Mark on camera soon as well, doing things, not quite sure, cooking and knivey things and everyday carry. Uh, we'll be going out bush as, as well now that the weather's kind of cooling down it's just too friggin hot to go outside it's just fucking it's just like intense so now the weather's starting to cool down then we'll be going out we do some field craft stuff field medicine field first aid some cooking and some bits and pieces like that so anyway if you like our show like i said subscribe and like much appreciate all your comments you've made so far so thank you very much and basically till the next show let's go